Hey everyone, it's Vinny, and I am back from vacation, ready to hopefully give out some winners this weekend. It's Whitney weekend. Let's get into it. We're going to move on to Sunday's card, which I don't have morning lines for yet at the time of recording. Uh, so if one of these runners ends up being like 6-5 to five or something like that, I apologize. I am trying to look for a little value here with some of these picks, and that would be unfortunate. But anyway, we're going to jump in. Race 1, it is a maiden special weight for two-year-olds on the turf, going a mile and a 16th. And the first horse that I want to talk about in this field is Sands of War for Sherry DeVoe. $550,000 yearling purchase uh, sired by Warfront. But the dam is where I kind of I kind of think this horse might have something here. The dam is Egyptian Storm, who is out of stage magic, who is the dam of Triple Crown winner Justify, who is also having a fantastic start to his stallion career. I can see why this horse sold for a half a million dollars. The works have been okay. Sherry is very good with her turf horses. I think this one could be something. Not sure on the price we're going to get. I'm hoping kind of around that four or five to one range, uh, especially with some of the others in here. But if this one gets bet down, I would not be surprised. It's probably a good sign if this one does get bet down uh, on the tote board. The second horse in that first race that I'm kind of going to keep an eye on, but one I think is going to take a lot of money. Kingdom Come for Bill Mott. Son of Justify, like I said before, off to a very hot hot start of the Stallion. But this one is also a half to Art Collector. Everyone knows who Art Collector is at this point. He's a consistent grade 2, like low grade 1 quality horse. Bill Mott has also been very good in the last couple months with his first serve. So I'm expecting this one to take money, but by the off chance... If by the off chance this one still floats around, around like four, five, six to one, I think this one's worth using on tickets too. The workouts have been pretty good for a Bill Mott first time starter. Looking at race two, another pedigree play that I like, uh, depends on the odds though, is Ways and Means for Chad Brown. This one is a three fourth sister to Highly Motivated, who yeah, didn't pan out as an older three-year-old, lost a couple close races, and then just kind of never put the pieces back together. But as a two-year-old, was very, very solid, uh, and just missed in his debut here at Saratoga uh, a few years back. I'm expecting Ways and Means to probably be probably be the favorite, but if for some reason, 7-2, to 4-1, to one, I think Ways and Means is worth the play. We're going to jump all the way to race six now on Sunday. And this is the last maiden special weight on the card. There's three on this card, which I like because I am a big fan of these maiden special weights. Uh, and there's two in here that I'm kind of interested in. The first one is Holiday Road for Bill Mott. Mott's been very good with his first time starters, and I am also a sucker for Godolphin homebreds. Uh, if you've been following me for a while, you've heard me say that a thousand times. Just one of those things, and I, it works out. They have a very good breeding operation, and they just produce good horses. Holiday Road is a half, a half to grade one place marking and grade two winner Lake Avenue. Both sprinters. This is a sprint. Kind of fits here. Uh, also, very. this one also has very good works for a Bill Mott first time starter. So I'm kind of expecting this one will take a little bit of money. But again, kind of going to kind of hope for that four to one range at least. Uh the second horse in here is a horse I actually liked on opening day, and she ran second, and that is Lady Moscato for D. Wayne Lucas. Uh, ran into an absolute buzzsaw on opening day in Sugar High, who ran, just ran off the screen in that race. But she ran a very good second, improved from her first start, should show improvement again going into her third start. We'll see. I think we're going to get a little bit of a price on this one just because of some of these firsters in this field. If I get six to one on Lady Moscato, I'm going to I will use her on all my tickets. She's got a very good pedigree, but third time out, she improved her buyer by about 10 points. Last time she improves by another 10 points. She's going to be very tough in this field. Uh, and that is Lady Moscato in race six. And that's what I have for this weekend. Uh, a lot of maiden a lot of maiden races i i like the maiden races i've had a lot of success with maiden races uh, i'm recording this on thursday uh after 
the Saratoga card, and I did have the Bill Mott first time starter earlier on the card who went, uh, who won at about, I believe, eight to one uh, early on in the day uh, with a sim playing similar pedigree and sibling angles. It's one of my favorite things to do is to look up these, uh, look up pedigrees and siblings and watch workouts of these young horses. So there you go. Hopefully one of these hits, I will be using them. So if they hit, we'll all have a good weekend. If not, well, I'll be back next week, hopefully with some better tips. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. RacingNews.com is your home for the best free picks for every race, every track. Summer's here, our picks are heating up. We want you to join us in the fun. Subscribe to the Racing Dudes YouTube channel right now. Click the notification bell. You don't want to miss a single one of our awesome videos. Want to make money betting horses? Bet with the Racing Dudes.